Hey guys, today we're going to make a Korean street food garlic bread. This looks fantastically difficult to do. We'll see if I can pull it off. All right, so we're gonna start by making the dough for our bread. We're gonna add half a cup's worth of milk, two tablespoons of sugar into this milk here. The milk is at room temperature. Make sure it's not too cold because we have to add some yeast to it. We're gonna put in one teaspoon of yeast. Mix that up a little bit. One cup's worth of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon's worth of salt. Yeah, that's about right. And let's crack an egg in there. Just mix and combine everything together. Sticky icky. Looks like oatmeal. Very sticky oatmeal. I'm not getting the right consistency here. So I'm gonna add a little more flour. I'm actually gonna add an extra half cup of flour. And now I'm gonna put my hands in there and start kneading this for about five minutes. A little flour on the counter helps. We are beginning to get the right consistency of dough here. Here I have a quarter cups worth of partially melted butter. This is gonna get really messy. Let's add this into the dough and we're gonna knead it for about 15 minutes. So let's stretch out this dough. And some of butter. I think ideally you don't want your butter in liquid form. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're almost done kneading here. It feels right. And I definitely think it looks about right as well. So let's move on to the next step. I'm just gonna spray some oil into my bowl here so the dough doesn't stick into it and roll this around in the oil. All right, let's cover this up and let this rest for one hour. The dough is risen nicely. Let's take it out of the bowl. Just gonna give it a quick knead for about another two minutes. Form a nice ball again. Now we're gonna quarter this piece of dough. And then roll out each piece into another ball. You have a baking pan layered with a piece of parchment paper. Just gonna set these on. So it looks like we're gonna make four breads out of the dough. And I'm gonna let this rest for another 30 minutes. Okay, so these are ready to go into the oven. The oven's been preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's throw these in for 20 minutes. All right, bread's in the oven. Now we're gonna make our cream cheese whip and our garlic butter sauce. All right, I got some Philadelphia original cream cheese. This is about 227 grams. Okay, let's just plop this in there. And then we add two and a half tablespoons of sugar. Let's mix the sugar and the cream cheese together. We're gonna add a quarter cup's worth of whipping cream. Let's whisk this up. Oh man, that looks really delicious. Ideally, you wanna put this in a piping bag, but I don't have a piping bag. So I'm just gonna make a makeshift piping bag using a regular plastic Ziploc bag. Let's use our spatula and just get all of this nice cream cheese sauce in there. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. And when we're ready, we're just gonna cut that end off and pipe it into the bread. Set this aside for now. And now let's make our garlic butter sauce. First thing we need, more butter. Two thirds a cup's worth. I'm gonna nuke this for a minute. All right, melted. Nuked butter. Here I have a quarter cup's worth of minced garlic. We're gonna throw that into the butter. Two tablespoons worth of condensed milk. One, well, it's a little over two tablespoons, but that's fine. One egg. Next, I'm gonna add a bunch of parsley. Uh, I don't have dry parsley in my house, so I just got some fresh stuff. Let's drop that in. It's gonna give it a nice color. And let's mix this all together. Smells good. All done. 
So now we need to carefully cut into this. It's still piping hot. I could leave these to rest before I cut into them, but nah, let's just do it carefully. Don't cut all the way down. Okay, so these are pretty small, but I'm gonna try the best I can to pipe the cream cheese in. So on the corner of our bag here, I'm just gonna snip that end off and let's pipe some of this cream cheese in. And the deliciousness doesn't end there. Now let's top on our garlic butter. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So before we get to dig into this, we have to put them in the oven for another 10 minutes at the same temperature, 350 degrees. Holy bejeez balls. That looks really, 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 really good. <laughs> Judging by looks alone, I think I pulled it off. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks because it looks really appetizing. Let's give it a try. Oh my. Wow. 10 out of 10, we nailed it. Check out some of these other great videos over here and please support us by hitting that like and subscribe button.